welcome back to the Sense ACT channel here with Heidi. Um, so today I wanted to try two fruits I've never had before on here. So this is dragon fruit and this is star fruit and I've never had them before ever and they're kind of weird. Okay, I'm all ready. I got my cutting board and my knife. So I've heard that both of these fruits are from like Southeast Asia, um, which doesn't surprise me because I'd never heard of them in America and that's where I'm from when I grew up. Um, but I have heard them a few times in Australia and Australia has lots of like Asian culture and Asian influence here. Oh, they're so weird looking on the inside. I forgot. Oh, look how weird it looks on the inside. That is so bizarre to me. Oh, oh, you're over here. So bizarre. I've heard that this dragon fruit is a very, like, um, soft flavored fruit. Uh, oh, look, it is. Okay. And that you don't want any pink bit for, I don't remember why. <laughs> I guess it's not edible. Um, and that is what it looks like. How weird and alien is that? So I've cut it up in a little bit. Okay. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Okay, it's very mild. The seeds are edible. I did look into that because I was like, there's no way I'm pulling out all those seeds. I mean, like, there's tons. Mm. Sort of the texture of, like, watermelon, maybe? A softer watermelon? Interesting. Ah! Tried something new. Star fruit. Let's see how this goes. I wrote this similar texture to an apple. Go figure. So they said cut off on the ends, both the ends. And then cut down the ridges to get rid of that bit. This one I have seen um, people um, have seen like little things on Pinterest about this one uh, because of the cool shape it makes when you cut it. So it looks like a little star. That's why it's called star fruit. So I'm trying to think of what's been going on lately that I can update you on cutting this. Um, kids are settled at school again. Oh, since he has a new catalog out. Um, that's been so much fun because it's, you know, it's a good opportunity to just get together with lots of girlfriends. Friends, not girlfriends. Friends, because there are gentlemen that like it too. And, you know, sit down for a cuppa or have a new party because of new fragrances. So it's a, it's sort of like a really good season because uh, I get to see everybody, which is awesome. Okay, done. Excuse me. Smell. I always smell things. I think that's a sensey thing. Once you like smell, 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 smell everything, I smell things a lot more now. Okay. Not a lot of smell. I do smell like fresh, but not a lot of smell. So that's lightly sweet, a little bit tart. The skin was harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it is kind of like an apple. Less sweet, less tart, maybe. It's like there's a teeny weeny little, ooh, sour. Mm. I like it. I like sour. It's like there's a teeny weeny core that I have to pull it apart from. That's why I keep hesitating. So yeah, these would be great for a kid's lunch, I think. Once they tried it at home so they knew that they liked it. Because you don't want them being like, what the heck? Um, but they're both very mild. Very mild flavors. Um, and really cool shapes. I mean, how cool would that be in, in a school lunch? Or the weird colors of this one. Oh, almost dropped it. It's slippery. Um, so yeah, I guess that's really it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.